so what's up guys in this video we'll be learning how to move fonts from our layer 1 to layer 2 okay so the layer 2 solution that we'll be making use of is the zk sync all right so remember when you want to make use of layer 2 protocols there are there are potential airdrops that you can actually benefit from but this is actually a way of us getting familiar with some of the recent developments in the world of zk rollups so you notice before you go ahead to do this make sure that you have some funds on your metamax wallet so from here we have about 325 usd in earth and make sure that the ethereum millet is already selected so we have several other networks and all that so and this particular link is where we'll be moving our funds from okay we'll be moving from our main wallet or default ethereum mainland to zk sync mainlet so it will be dropped in the description box do well to check them out i'll be paying a fee of 4.72 dollars i think it was 10 dollars some few hours ago so it fluctuates it's not a uh, stable but it's all right so the where you want to transfer from is your own account the amount you want to transfer is this amount in x and i want to transfer everything then you hit on what top up right so follow the instruction in your interior main wallet so it's actually going to interact with my metamax and i'm just going to follow up accordingly it's very easy to do all right so we've made video on how to transfer funds between layer 2 and layer 2 solutions using the hub exchange do well to check it up there now all right so i go ahead to do what to confirm this it's all right so i'll still be left with some funds on my main account is all right so eventually from my main account i can withdraw to either an exchange or what have you so i'll wait for the transaction to confirm then the deposit is confirmed your deposit transaction has been mined and will process after a quite number of confirmation use the transaction link to track the progress so you quickly hit the transaction link all right so once our fund is on our wallet we can now go ahead to hit on what swap all right so notice that everything is happening live is all right so if you are very familiar with your exchange then you should be familiar with this chart as well as the other book that is here as well as the various prices of the market at this particular time all right so the network we are using is zk sync minlet so you can go ahead to connect your wallet okay so in connecting your wallet it should interact with your metamax wallet and you go ahead to click what next connect account to account one so click on connect so connect to your metamax wallet so i click on connect to my metamax wallet and um there are more approvals that need to be done and once the wallet is connected i should be able to go ahead with the transaction is all right so i need to sign the signature signature sign request so only sign this message for trusted client so i'm just gonna sign okay and um my wallet should be connected just in a bit so if you notice the market has been on a retracing mode just uh, some few hours ago you need to sign a one-time transaction to activate the fee for this transaction will be 0 0.92 dollars so i will just quickly sign the transaction and um we are good to go so bitcoin kind of controls the market so whatever happens you are signing all right so i click on sign so it should sign by now so my account is connected successfully so i can now buy sell i can now buy at limit order you can now use market buy to buy all right so the market pair that i want to buy with is the usdt and the et oh, is that okay so the usdt and the et, et and usdt so i'll just select it so that you search for it here here or the 
you just select it and if you don't write it okay so it's still the same thing but that's what i'm familiar with that's what i want to do so what i want to do is under spots i have my limit order and i have my market order so i'm just quickly going to buy x and um i'm going to use half of my portfolio to get some x okay i can sell x for usdt because i don't have any USDT. i can sell my x that i already have to usdt so this is the X I have in my wallet. So I can use either half of it or quarter of it. I can sell to USDT. Is that right? So I can sell it at this particular price. The price now is 2912. And the market price is saying 2935. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Maybe there's, the live update here is not working effectively. I'm just going to sell half of it using the market so the other pen is sign or cancel to continue so i'm just going to sign that so i wonder how much they are going to take for this particular trade so all right so i'm going to sign so i think that first signing actually covers everything so this is the order here and it should trigger when the price gets to this particular amount so the price now is 2912 right so the price i want to sell is 2913.32 so it should be executed by now all right so you just the way of buying and selling within the zigzag exchange so i just want to refer to this and see once the orders are filled you won't be able to see it under orders anymore but under field orders does that make sense is that right So it's still on pending orders. So I'm selling it for USDT. It's still on pending orders. So I'm using market orders. I don't know why it's still pending. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. You can actually come here and cancel the trade. Right, so I'll cancel the trade and I'm going to use the market order to buy to sell some USDT. So, notice when the market order is selected, this part is grayed out. So the amount of it on to sell is let's say still 50 percent and i hit on what sell let me use the limit order this 2117 so the current market price is 2913 so i'm just going to buy at a lower price just so that this guy is triggered okay 2912 all right no i think i'll buy higher 2915 let me just say 2914.9.8 so that is 0.87 all right so i hope this one gets triggered other pen is signed or cancel to continue so let's see if this one gets triggered all right, so I'm going to sign again. Okay, so it's open. So your sell order for this was filled at 2915.38. So you can click here to see the filled orders. And if you notice, my balances should be USDT and Ethereum. Is that okay? I don't know where I can see it now. All right, these are my balances. I have 161 Ethereum and I have 154 USDT. Is that right? So in layer two, is that okay? So in layer one, I have only three dollars in layer one. But for layer two, I have this in layer two. Is that okay? So this is actually so awesome, so awesome. So I'm just going to buy 
head back using the USDT I have in my account. So I'm going to use market order to buy. I'm quickly going to use 100% to buy. I'm going to click on what? Buy. Look at the fee 0 0.14 USDT. Is that right? 0 0.14 USDT. So it's not even up to 50 cents or something. So you just go ahead to complete the trade. Right? Committing and it is filled because I use market order. So just go ahead and play around with all this, and um, you should notice that you are good to go or to be eligible for the future airdrop. You can also swap back to your main account by coming to trade.zigzag.exchange slash bridge. Right? So I'm just quickly going to refresh this. All right, so this is what we have. So I want to send from, I want to send from ZK Sync layer two, back to what? Back to my layer one. And I'm sending everything, right? Everything. So I'm going to select what? Normal. And I'm going to connect wallet. Is that right? So I'm going to connect to Metamax wallet. And, um. You should be able to see this here now. So how much are they charging us for gas fee? So 0.00123x. So let me just check how much that is now. So let me just check how much that is now. So I'm just going to copy it, then go back to my converter. I've made mention of this converter, it have actually helped me to estimate how much I'll be paying for gas fee. So it's about still the same 3.54. So this actually for a trade sometimes. So if you're lucky, you are good to go. So I hit on what transfer. So I'm transferring back from layer one, from layer two, back to layer one. Is that right? So layer two in this case is ZK Sync. And I'm transferring back to what? Layer one, which is the Ethereum mainnet mainlet hope you got value in this video it's actually something that you can do and if you notice the fees are not that high okay although they can still be low they are still working on it these are new innovations coming up you should do well to also interact with some of these new roll-ups zk sync you have your arbitrum you have your optimism you have a whole lot so do well to interact with some of these innovations some of these roll-ups on some of these layer two solutions we'll make video on how to use hop exchange to bridge between the different layer two protocols you can watch the video up there now go ahead to support our channel by smashing the subscribe button right away also like and share this video in all you do do your own research peace out